Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be doing a, well not highly requested video, but I keep seeing questions about like, oh, how did you learn Japanese? How many languages do you speak? And stuff like that. So I figured I would just put it all in one video so I could just refer to this video every time someone asks me and don't have to like answer it every time in the comments. So yeah, I'll just be going through the languages that I speak slash study slash have studied. And I'm gonna try to say um, something in the languages that I can. <laughs> it's not that much, but um, you know, I thought I'd just go through it. So first of all, let me start with English, I guess, since I'm already speaking English. Um, I speak English. That being said, I'm, I'm not from America. I'm not born in an English speaking country. I am born and raised in Germany. I still live in Germany. I mean, I've probably had English as a school subject since like elementary school. So I've been speaking it for like over a decade and I've just always loved English. I think it's probably my favorite language. I, I do like Japanese a lot as well. Hate German, but that's a different topic. But English is just, I don't know. And whenever I feel the need to like express myself, I want to do it in English because I always feel like I can do it best in that language. And I've just grown up always watching like English speaking YouTubers or TV shows, movies. Stuff like that. I just think a lot of stuff sounds better in English than in German, for example. So yeah, I'm just very used to English. How many times have I said English now? But thank you to everybody who in the comments is like, wow, you, you, like, you speak really good English considering you're German, you have an American accent and stuff like that. Genuinely thank you. It makes me really happy to hear that. And yeah, I don't want to get stuck on English for too long because like, it's whatever. I speak English. Okay. I think it's pretty, it's pretty normal for German people probably. I don't, like in my age group generally, I think there's few people who don't speak English or they probably speak it like a little bit maybe, but a lot of my friends are like pretty much fluent. So I don't think it's rare in Germany, but thank you anyways. So that is that. Okay. Die nächste Sprache ist Deutsch. Um, Erstmal Shoutout. Okay, das war schon Englisch, aber Shoutout an alle, die zugucken, die vielleicht auch aus Deutschland sind. Ähm, ich bin tatsächlich Deutsche, ja. Ich bin hier geboren und hier aufgewachsen. Ähm, ich habe ein paar Fragen gekriegt, woher aus Deutschland ich komme. Ich komme aus Düsseldorf, beziehungsweise ich komme nicht aus Düsseldorf ursprünglich. Ähm, ursprünglich komme ich aus kamp -Linfurt. Das ist eine sehr kleine Kackstadt in der Nähe von Düsseldorf. Aber ich bin letztes Jahr hier ähm, wegen der Uni hergezogen. Und ich gehe an die Heinrich Heine. Falls irgendjemand auch an die Heinrich Heine geht, bitte sprecht mich nicht an. Um, but yeah, I just spit everywhere. Um, ich weiß nicht so richtig, was ich sagen soll. Weil ich jetzt die ganze Zeit Englisch geredet habe, fühlt sich Deutsch jetzt irgendwie ein bisschen unnormal an. Aber ja, gibt es nicht wirklich was zu sagen zu Deutsch. Ne? Also es ist meine Muttersprache. Ich bin zwar bilingual aufgewachsen mit Polnisch, da komme ich gleich zu. Aber äh, danke an alle, die sagen, dass sie Deutsch schön finden und dass sie Deutsch lernen wollen. Viel Glück an euch, falls ihr es tatsächlich lernt, weil ähm, ich habe von vielen Japanern zum Beispiel gehört, die hier sind und Deutsch lernen, dass es halt einfach eine unheimlich schwierige Sprache ist und ich glaube es denen auf jeden Fall. Also wenn ich selber nicht Deutsch wäre, würde ich es glaube ich auch nicht lernen, weil die Grammatik einfach grauenhaft ist. Also selbst als Deutsche habe ich das Gefühl, manchmal habe man ein bisschen Probleme damit irgendwie. Aber... Ja, nochmal Grüße gehen raus an alle Ehrenmänner und Ehrenfrauen da draußen, die, äh, da, oh, das wird schwer zu übersetzen sein. Naja, auf jeden Fall Grüße gehen raus an alle, die auch in Deutschland sind und ähm, ja, falls irgendwelche deutschen Zuschauer zugucken, lasst mich doch mal in den Kommentaren wissen, wo aus Deutschland ihr herkommt, würde mich interessieren. Und ja, sehr viel mehr habe ich jetzt eigentlich zu Deutsch auch nicht zu sagen. Von daher, let's move on to the next one. Um, next up is Polish. So for a little context, uh, my family is Polish. I grew up bilingual with Polish and German, but I really stopped speaking Polish since kindergarten started. So I just gradually got worse since then. The thing is, I used to go to Poland quite frequently, but to visit my family, but I haven't gone in years. So I don't speak it anymore that well. Like I understand everything. If someone would talk to me, like my parents and stuff, but by myself, it's very difficult to like come up with the sentences. But I shall try to come up with something. So let's go. Dzień dobry. Nazywam się Ania. Mam 20 lat. I nie wiem, co mam powiedzieć. Już powiedziałam to po angielsku, ale ja nie umiem mówić. 
po polsku tak bardzo dobrze, ale chyba rozumie wszystkiego. Myślę, że mam mocny niemiecki akcent, ale nie wiem. Moi rodzice są z Polski. Moja mama urodziła się w Gdańsku i mój tata urodził się w Radomie, ale już mieszkają w Niemczech. Nie byłam w Polsce od 8 lat chyba. Nie wiem za bardzo. I już nie planuję znowu jechać. <laughs> Ale ja kocham polskie. Ja kocham moją polską rodzinę. I kocham polskie jedzenie. Bardzo. <laughs> okay, that's it. We're moving on. I hate speaking Polish. It's so unnatural to me at this point. If I probably spend a little while in Pol Poland again, maybe I would get back into it, but I haven't spoken it properly in years, so that was like a very weird experience, but moving on. To the next one. So the next one is the one most people are probably curious about, which is Japanese. So let me just explain in Japanese. I will be talking in casual speech called Tameguchi and not like formal speech in Kegel because I hate Kegel and I'm just not good at it. So I'm sorry if I'm being informal to you guys right now, but please bear with me. I could have said that in Japanese. Anyways, Konnichiwa! <laughs> 私、最初はね、私、敬語あんまり使えないから、タメ口で喋っていこうと思ったけど、ちょっと失礼だから、えっとね、すいません。そう、えっとね、ちょっと日本語で喋るのはまだ恥ずかしいから、あんまり慣れ
はキングヌーというバンドかなキングヌーとか米津玄師とかイリーとか、まあ、めちゃめちゃあるから<笑>今覚えてないけどすごいおすすめしてる日本の音楽はね聞いてください<笑>じゃあもう終わりねもう終わりしよう<笑> OK so that was Japanese very embarrassing for me to speak that I don't know why it's just I feel uncomfortable speaking it on camera. Please don't kill me if any like Japanese people are watching this or someone who speaks Japanese fluently. I know I still do a lot of mistakes and stuff. I'm, I'm working on it. I've only been studying it for like not even two years. So please、uh, have mercy on me. But that was that. And yeah. So that was it for the languages where I like truly understand or I can either express myself in some form of way. And now, Korean,、um, I actually studied for half a year, like a semester last year at university, but I basically remember absolutely fucking nothing. And I'm actually doing,、um, I was planning on taking the second course this semester, and we're actually having like a quick compact course、um, next month. So, I'll have to refresh my Korean knowledge for that. But I literally, at this point, I can understand more than I can speak for sure. But I can, like, it's literally maybe like three sentences to introduce myself that I would, can think of off the top of my head. You know, like, just like, Annihaseyo, Chanin Anya Nida, Chanin Hakseni Nida, Togi Sarami Nida, that kind of stuff. Like, super stiff, unnatural Korean.、Um, don't speak it whatsoever. So,、um, Yeah, don't, don't clock me on that, you know? Oh, the only thing I still kind of remember, I mean, I don't remember the actual pickup line, but it's some form. I saw this on TikTok. Okay, why is my messenger on?、Um, I saw this on TikTok. It's, it's something about like there's four different seas in Korea, and then it's like, it's Donghae. I hope I didn't say that as Dong. I, I have trouble.、Um, Differentiating the double consonants and the single ones, but whatever. Donghae, Sohae, Namhae, and Saranghae. Super cringy, whatever. So I don't really speak Korean at all. I understand it better than I speak it. I can read Hangul, so yeah, I'll definitely have to fresh up on that knowledge. And then finally, two languages that I learned in school that I don't speak at all anymore. I had four years of French and three years of Italian, and I forgot completely everything, which is. Funny considering I only have studied Japanese for less than both of those, and I already speak it way better than I ever spoke those. So it truly shows you that you have to like put personal time into it. If you only learn a language at school and have like nothing to do with it outside of it, I don't think you can truly get to a level where you can ever converse fluently. So yeah, four years of French down the fucking drain, three years of Italian down the fucking drain. I just remember absolutely fucking nothing. So,、um, yeah, that was definitely a waste of time in school. I wish we would have had like Japanese or Chinese or Spanish, even. I really wanted to learn. Oh, yeah, as for、uh, maybe languages that I want to learn, Korean, obviously. I really, really, really would like to do Mandarin, but it seems so fucking intimidating.、Um, I know that at least the, maybe the, you know, I forgot what they're called in Chinese, but the writing system wouldn't be all too difficult for me because I'm already used to the Japanese. Um, but the, the intonation is just, it's so fucking intimidating, honestly. And I also would like to learn Spanish. I think Spanish is an incredibly beautiful language, and so many people speak it. So I'd really like to learn that. And I think that's probably it. Like, I don't really aspire to learn anything else, but if I, it would be my dream if I got all of those down, which I don't think I ever will, because already Japanese is a feat to, you know, manage. But. Yeah, that's basically it. So it's not really that much. I'm not like a polyglot or whatever the fuck you call those people, which is very impressive, by the way. If you speak like that many languages, I bow in front of you, honestly. So,、um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that insight into my brain and what languages I speak and want to learn. And、um, if you have any questions or anything else that you want to say, leave it in the comments. And,、um, Yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope it cleared up some things for you guys, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. And I don't know what's gonna be it, but I hope I'll see you there. Bye, thanks for watching.